Hey, what is up, guys? Ethan here. Today I'm on Rust, and I am showing you guys my Rust settings in 2023. I've had a few people in my YouTube comments and my Twitch chat just asking what my Rust settings are, so I thought I'd make this quick little guide for you guys. And uh, I'm going to leave my specs in the description down below if you guys want to change your settings accordingly. Like, for instance, I have my graphics quality on 6, but I have an i9-9900K. If you guys had something like an i5, I'd go ahead and change this to something like a 3 or a 4. Last thing I'm going to mention before we get started with the video is if you guys need to pause it all throughout the video, I highly recommend you do that. I'm not going to spend all too long on any one page. I'm pretty much just going to talk about notable settings, and that's going to be it. But yeah, guys, uh, field of view, I like to keep that on 90 because you get to see a lot more than if you had just 70 on. Head bob, highly recommend you guys keep that shit off. That shit makes the game look like doggy doo-doo. Uh, moving on, we have the FPS counter. This, uh, I don't actually tweak this setting in my menu right here. I go ahead to the console to do that. So go ahead and click F1. And as you guys can see, I use perf1 or perf2. Perf1 is going to go ahead and make your just your FPS visible in the bottom left. And now if you wanted your ping as well, you go ahead and do perf2. And as you guys can see, I have my FPS and my ping down below. Rich Presence, if you guys don't know what that is, um, basically, if you go look at your Steam friends, you can see if they are exploring the wilderness, if they're exploring a monument, that type of thing. And people can use that to stream snipe you and shit. So I would go ahead and turn that off. Now, Max Gibbs in physics, if you guys want to go ahead and turn that down, that does have a pretty decent performance hit on your computer. So I keep that at about 1500 or so. And uh, going on to the user interface, uh, keep that scale on one. And I currently have my HUD and chat off because I'm recording a video, but typically I have both of these on. And then game tips, I definitely would keep that off if you guys have more than a few hundred hours on Rust. The game tips aren't very helpful as they say they are. Enable helpful contextual in game tips. If you guys know how to play the game, definitely turn that off. Uh, moving on to audio. Master volume, I keep at about 0.7. Now, uh, music volume and menu music, I keep that off. I don't really love the Rust soundtrack, so go ahead and keep that on zero if you want. Now, moving on to controls, I have a 0.5 sensitivity and I have 1,000 DPI, um, just for reference. Um, I keep these sensitivities at default, have never really changed those personally. Um, and then toggle dock, that's a setting that's going to be in the other video. I use the U, the U key for auto duck. And then um, let's see, now we got our binds right here. Sprint, I have an auto sprint. Um, I click O for that. That's gonna be in the other video as well. Voice transmit, this is obviously the keys that you use to talk in game. Quickly, I just wanna mention, I have a video on how to add push to mute on Discord. And what that does is if I were to scream in game right now on Rust, the people in my Discord would not hear me because it's gonna auto mute whenever I click C or V. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out that video, that's going to be in the description and bookmarked on your screen right now. I don't think anything else here is all too important. And that's going to do it for this page, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and click screen. I play at native uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and I have exclusive mode on. Vsync off. I have uncapped FPS, which is one of those commands in the other video. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. I uh, don't have a limit on any of my fps's so i have those on both off we're gonna go ahead and click graphics here render scale you're gonna want to keep this on full in my opinion if you lower it even a little bit the game starts to look very uh very janky is the best way i can describe it so keep render scale on one if you guys can i don't think it has too much of an impact on your game shadow quality i keep that on zero to cascade with zero max shadows shader level you guys want to keep this up as well as draw distance a little bit those are going to make your game look a lot better, but it does have a pretty high hit on your performance. So I'd keep that at about a third or so if you guys can. Shadow distance as well. Keep that at about half or a third. NVIDIA, I do have a TI. Uh, I have a 1660 TI. So since it is a TI, I'm able to put on on plus boost without really seeing any type of performance hit. So if you guys have a TI type of graphics card or something uh, higher end, you guys can go ahead and keep on and boost. That's going to go ahead and make the game run better for me. And then mesh quality, you guys can check out all these settings down below. Nothing really notable there. Image settings, I have TSSAA on. That's pretty much how the game is rendered. Uh, I don't know. You guys can go ahead and comment what you guys use. I've always used TSSAA. I'm pretty sure that's the best of the three here. And then the only setting I have here is ambient inclusion is on. Everything else is off. Now, if we go to experimental, I have everything off except this, which I've never really fucked with. Um, I don't use MIDI at all. Um, so if you guys do use that, I don't know. You guys can change that shit if you want. But 
Optimize loading, like, uh, turn this down or off if you have problem loading. Yeah, like these, since they're experimental, I really don't fuck with any of this shit. But if you guys wanted, go ahead and uh, try this. Maybe this looks like it might be decent, might be buggy. So I'm going to go ahead and not touch that shit. But yeah, guys, those are my game settings in 2023 for Rust. If the video did help at all, please leave a like and comment down below. Helps out the channel way more than you guys know. And uh, go ahead and check out those other videos if you guys want the Discord push to mute, as well as my other Rust keybinds and commands. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Adios, guys.